Hey, what is up? Six Tayo, and uh, today for you, I have a better detailed tutorial for the iPhone 4 disassembly and uh, screen replacement. Um, today, we're just going to be working on uh, a black iPhone 4. Um, the last video that I uploaded was not as uh, descriptive as I, um, as I thought it was. So I was just looking over, it and it was uh, was well, kind of shitty. So here's a better one. Alright, uh, let's just get right into it. And uh, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and will not be sped up at all. Um, this is just to help you uh, follow along a little bit better if you're following along with the video. Um, if you notice the two screws at the bottom, um, it'll either be uh, Phillips or Penelope. If you have the uh, Penelope screws, which I'll actually show you on my iPhone 4 right here, it'll have the little star uh, star thingy, that's called Penelope. But this one is an older iPhone, so it has uh, the Phillips head screws on it. So let's go ahead and take those out. And I'm using a MacBook magnet on my screwdriver. Just gonna go ahead and set that down right there. And the reason I keep a magnet on my screwdriver is to keep the screwdriver magnetized, just so. Um, I don't lose it. I'm going to set that right there. Now you can just simply slide your back up and uh, remove the back just like that. Now, um, first you're going to want to remove the battery. The way you do this is you take this little screw right here and uh, we just take it out. Good, set that down right there. Um, I usually take a, uh, a flathead screwdriver and gently lift it up. Be really careful when you do this because you can't actually damage it. Go ahead, simply pull up on the tab. And uh, normally it wouldn't come out that easy because uh, the glue is actually kind of uh, stiff. So go ahead, set that off to the side. Do not lose this because you can actually lose your signal uh, when you reassemble your phone. Set that down right next to your screw. And now let's go ahead and disconnect the antenna. Be real careful with that as to not damage it. Next, we're going to move uh, these two screws and then the plate that the screws are holding it down. They're just right there. Okay. And then just go ahead and take that out. Now with your flathead screwdriver, you're going to go ahead and uh, gently lift up. And simply peel back. Now it does curve right here, so just be really careful with that and then simply pull it back. Next, you'll notice you have a little, um, little tab right here. Um, if you want to keep your warranty, um, just be really careful not to damage that or lose it. Just uh, kind of get it out of there and then set it off to the side. Now you can take our Phillips head screwdriver and take that screw out. Now I normally lay my screws out for, well, when I work on an iPhone 4, the exact way they are in the phone. That way I know exactly where to put them back. Now we got that out. We're going to go ahead and take these five screws out. And make sure you keep these in the order that you um, took them out in. Put them back. So it's going to take those out. And they're holding that plate down. So that's why we're taking these out. Sorry, this isn't the best video quality. I'm using my iPad 2 to record this. Uh, 
Alright, uh, simply take your screwdriver and I kind of I'll make that up a little bit. And then you simply take that plate out. Um, underneath the plate, you'll find uh, this little screw right here. Go take your flathead screwdriver and uh, just go ahead and take that one out. If you get a little bit loose, you can just take a Phillips, and it'll do the same thing. Kinda. And set that down. Now with your flathead screwdriver, go ahead and take uh, the five cables down, or out. And be really careful not to damage uh, the board at all. Kind of pry those up. Um, with these three cables, you can take those out in any order. Uh, with the LCD and digitizer, you want to take the digitizer out first. So it's this cable right here, and then the LCD. Now you should be good. Alright, now down here at the bottom of the motherboard, you'll find a screw right here. That's holding the bottom of the motherboard out. Oh, and uh, before I forget, you got to take the, uh, the SIM tray out. Huh, I'm surprised I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright. Take that screw out and set it down. You should now be able to easily take the motherboard out. And you don't have to worry about taking the camera off because well, it'll just stay there. Let's set and let's set the motherboard down. Now let's go ahead and take this other screw on the other side. And let's go ahead and get the fuck out of there. Okay, gonna get stuck on there. <laughs> get a lot of screws on there. Oh, I use this for cleaning counters. <laughs> go ahead and take uh, the speaker assembly out and set that down as well. Just make sure you keep track of all your screws, don't lose any of them. Alright, now on the sides of the bezel, you'll find six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on each corner, you'll find a tiny little screw. Well, actually, first let's take the, the vibrator out before we get into that. that down. Now let's go ahead and take each of the tiny little screws out. doesn't matter what order you take them out in. And you can actually just set these all down in one little pile. doesn't exactly matter. Kind of be careful when you take the screws out, just not to damage anything. These are really tiny screws and really tiny components. Alright, we got all the corners out. Let's go ahead and uh, get each of these little things out right here. Now you don't always have to take these screws all the way out. Um, you can just well, get the furnace assembly off without it. However, um, I always take them all the way out just so I don't have to you know, try and position the washers later.
Okay, now all your screws are out. Let's go ahead and take a heat gun, just so we can uh, kind of loosen up the glue underneath the digitizer. Just going to plug that in real quick. Now the heat gun that I use is a uh, is a Wagner. I'm not exactly sure what the full name of it is, but it's a 750 to 1000 degree. Um, I normally just, uh, just bring the camera over here. And my table's a little bit of a mess. Put that up. I'm going to have it set to 1,000 degrees. I don't recommend doing that for too long, as you may actually damage something if you do it for too long. Just kind of go ahead and uh, pry your screwdriver underneath the... Well, actually... Probably take an X-Acto knife or a knife. Something with a sharp edge on it. That'll actually get under there a little bit better. Give me a shitty old knife, but still has a has a decent edge on it. And uh, once the glue is nice and loose, you should be able to take it out with well, pretty decent ease. And just kind of pry around it. If it doesn't come out too easy, let's go ahead and heat the glue up again. Wherever it's not really that loose. Okay. Right, as you can see, it just comes right off. And be careful with your um, with the two cables right there. Um, if you're doing a, a digitizer front assembly replacement, then uh, you do want to be careful with this. Or you don't really need to be careful with it unless you're reinstalling it. I mean, but uh, I just need to be careful because this is a fully working phone. And I'm only doing this for the uh, disassemble guide. Alright, that's the inside. Now we're just going to reassemble it. Alright, so take both your digitizer and LCD cables. And then make sure your home button is uh, seated correctly. Take both of them and uh, kind of guide them into this little hole right here. Uh, digitizer first. And uh, kind of guide it with your finger. A little bit. Uh, if the camera can see that very well. Just make sure that nothing gets smashed in there. Because uh, if you screw it down and it smashes down, well, you're out of a digitizer. Alright. And uh, just make sure that everything is all the way through. And then you can go ahead and seat your uh, front assembly. And so everything looks pretty good and uh, hold this down and make sure the button clicks All right, clicks just fine everything looks good let's go ahead and reassemble it now uh, when I reassemble an iPhone 4 I always take the little screws from the corners and then put those in first just kinda makes it easier and uh, holds all four corners down so that when I install all the um, side bezel screws um, it doesn't move around or anything
wrong corner. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, everything is seated correctly. Now let's go ahead and install the side uh, screws. Normally, I always place the washers on the screw with the screw a screwdriver magnetized, and then it just makes it a lot easier to um, reinstall the screws. To pick it up, get a washer. Place it on there so it's flat. Now this will be the hardest part of the whole reassembly, which isn't too bad. This is also the most boring part because I'm just uh, kind of dicking around with the screws right now. Okay, so. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think it just dropped. Oh, well. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll find another one later. I have like a bunch of them. One, two, three, yep. Yeah. Alright, no big deal. Lost, lost one little washer. We replace that later. Alright, no, never mind. It's stuck to the thingy. <laughs> uh, yeah, careful with that tab, because uh, shit sticks to it. <laughs> Thought I lost it. And uh, sorry, I'm taking so long with uh, just putting these screws back. <laughs> oh goddamn! Uh, two more to go. Too bad. Oh, nice shot of my hand there. <laughs> uh, yeah, all the screws got stuck. Fuck. Yeah, I can go, probably go ahead and just skip through this because it's uh, pretty self explanatory. Just, uh,. Screw down the screws. That's all I gotta do. Oh, I should just want to stay on. Okay. You can also just uh, hold down the little um, charge report tab dock thing. Okay, now you got all the screws in there. And your front assembly is complete. And also uh, do a quick double check. Make sure your home button is well clicky and shit. All right. Now we can go ahead and uh, what you're gonna install your uh, vibrator whenever. But take your motherboard. We can now reinstall that. And I kind of guide it in. Uh, just so it seats down. Pull back your little connector tabs. And just make sure everything seats just fine. And uh, what I normally do is I always take this big little fat ass screw and uh, just reinstall it right there, just so it holds it down. Mm. 
Alright. And then you just take our flat head and then uh, secure it down all the way. And uh, yeah, be kind of careful with it. Because uh, it's really easy to um, jump the screwdriver off the screw and onto the motherboard. Now let's go ahead and install the middle screw just for a little bit of extra support. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's install the speaker assembly first. Okay. Now the reason I installed the top one is so that uh, it has a little bit of lift at the bottom right here. So you just go ahead and uh, take this little point right here and lift up the motherboard with it while installing the um, the speaker assembly. And be really careful when you do this not to bend the motherboard because that can actually happen and your board would be fucked. So if you're going to do that, just be really careful. And then install this little middle screw where that little uh, white tab was. Just like that. And it uh, is installed. Uh, you also have these little uh, metal tabs right here. Let's go ahead and uh, push those down. And it will just seat right down. Secure that with the screw that goes right there in the bottom uh, right corner. Oh, it takes a bit to screw down, doesn't it? Just screw that down until it's nice and tight, or fairly tight. Take the one that goes on to the other end of it, and go ahead and screw that one down. Alright, it's nice and tight. Take your antenna, go ahead and uh, reconnect it. Can I get it in there with your thumb? Um, sometimes it might be a pain in the ass to uh, get your camera to see all the way down. So just go ahead and take your flat screwdriver and lift up the tab and then seat it down and then reseat the connector back onto the board. Take your three little connectors right here. Those are pretty easy to put on. Take your LCD kit, uh, cable and uh, kind of guide that down, seat it down and then go ahead and put your digitizer down kind of flatten it down with your thumb so it doesn't come up on its own uh, let's see now take your uh, your dot connector and connect it back just like that and then uh, pat it down with your thumb just to get it nice and well, laid back down there Take your little shield right here, and then take the two screws in the same exact order, of course, put it back on your screwdriver and uh, and uh, hold it down with your finger to keep it lined up with the uh, other screw hole. Take your other screw, screw that back down in there. There's no exact order that you really have to follow. You can order follow whatever order you want. Now we're just going to reinstall the shield. Go from the bottom. And then just go ahead and just lay it right down. Take the longest screw. This little long screw that goes right in the middle. Set it down there. Now I always do the longest screw first. Just because it... Um, hold everything down in order for you to reinstall the rest of the screws just easily. Alright, that one's nice and tight. Now install 
each of the other five screws to go to that shield in the exact order. So I'm getting that screw to go on there. Okay. Okay, now I go ahead and take the digit, or not the digitizer, <laughs> the vibrator, I meant. And then I just place it right back down in there. Take your longest screw that goes on the left. Kind of just guide it in there. Take your little tiny screw that goes on the right. And just screw that one in there. Take your little antenna adapter. And then take your battery. And without um, seeing the battery down, and the little tab got stuck, um, just take your connector without installing the battery, or just letting it sit down. Go ahead and lay the battery connection down. And I can install the screw that holds that down. All right. Now if you remember that little uh, white tab, this little thing is what says whether or not your iPhone's been opened before or not to Apple. So as long as you have this little white tab, Apple thinks you never opened your phone. And, uh, yeah, there's that. Let's just go ahead and give it a little wipe down just to get rid of any fingerprints if you're going to be warranting your phone out. It's going to, you can take your shirt as long as it doesn't have a whole bunch of lint all over it. Just wipe it down. Make sure it's good. Looks good. Go ahead and, oh. So you install your back, if you take the back, just get it nice and all see it down there, and simply slide down. Make sure all the edges are nice and uh, down there, and let's go ahead and turn it on. And there you go. Ah. <laughs> and I just dropped it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and uh, put these screws in there. Make sure the screws are nice and tight. Just make sure you do not strip your screws. Okay, let's go and test it. And there you go. Focus. Alright, thanks for watching, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, if you need any help at all, have any questions, uh, put it in the comments below, send me a message, or, um, yeah. Anyway, this is Sixtalio, and I am signing out. See ya.